Okay, what do you get when you cross a Catholic, a Muslim, and a Hindu with a mustache-wearing New Zealander? Answer? A very interesting witnessing clip. Now, can I ask you about your spiritual beliefs? Will that offend you? Can you handle that? Yeah. You okay with that? Um, okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What do you think happens after someone dies? Do you think there's an afterlife? Mm, not really. Are you an atheist? No. You believe in God? Yes. You don't believe in heaven? Mm, not really. Why not? Well, because I think it's just matter, like, uh, well, I think after we die, I mean, all our particles and all our atoms are still in the air, so, like, we really don't go anywhere. That's what I think. So how many people do you think have died in history? Ooh, a lot. So probably billions and billions. So all their particles are floating around the air? I could believe that about Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Do you believe in an afterlife? Um, yes, I do. So what happens after someone dies? Um, when they die, um, we, for the Muslim people, we have to um, wait until it finishes the world. And then God is going to um, ask about our life and everything. And then um, depending on how we, you know, like choose the rules of the God and how we deal our life, we're going to be in the heaven or in the hell. So where are you going? Um, I try my best <laughs> to follow my rules, but you know, human is human. I do the uh, mistakes as well. I say sorry to God. <laughs> Always there is a second option definitely to say sorry. And um, all I believe it's God is definitely kind enough to forgive you if you say sorry, but you still have to be honest. And I'm, to me, it really, the point is like whatever religious you are in, it's all about honesty, all about good things and um, um, definitely serving for people. What about you? Uh, I don't believe in afterlife. Are you an atheist? No. So you believe God exists? Yeah, I do. But there's no afterlife? No. So this is it? That's it. <laughs> if you die, where are you going? Nothing. You get burned or you get buried. That's are it. Are you Hindu? Yeah. Muslim? Yes. And what are you? Catholic. Well, that's an interesting little combination. And, you, yeah. and you're good friends. The world could learn a lot from you guys. Um, if there's a heaven, do you think you're good enough to go there? Are you a good person? Yeah, I am. I feel yeah. Definitely. Yes. Okay, here's some questions. Let's do a little test. How many lies have you told in your life? Ooh, a lot. Plenty. <laughs> yes, plenty. So you're three liars sitting in front of me? Yeah. Have you ever stolen something? I'm Even right. if it's small, have you ever stolen something? What do you mean by that? Taking something that belongs to someone else, stolen it. Oh, I probably did. Not me. Have you ever stolen anything? No. Like, at least not on purpose. Mm. Yeah, not on purpose. So, That's so, okay, you stole something but not on purpose? Explain what you mean by that. You know how sometimes you take something and then you're like, oh, I don't know what, uh, like a pen. Like you get a pen, but you don't know who was that pen from. Have you, ever used, have you ever used God's name in vain? Uh, no. Oh my G-O-D? No. I say, oh my God, sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's called blasphemy when you use God's name in that respect. Did you know that? Yeah. So instead of saying, oh, and using a swear word, you use God's name in its place. And it's very serious to use God's name as a cuss word. Now, Jesus said, if you look with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. If you look at a guy and desire to be with him sexually, you commit adultery in your heart as far as God's concerned. Have you ever done that? No. You ever look with lust at a guy? Well, no. Well, I don't know. What about you? <laughs> I really don't know what you meant. <laughs> if you explain it a little bit more, then I will tell you. Well, Jesus said if you look at someone and desire them sexually, you commit adultery with them in your heart. That's how high God's standards are. He sees the thought life. Right. If you hate someone, the Bible says you commit murder in your heart. That's how high God's standards are. And that's the standard he's going to judge us with on the day of judgment. And then the Bible says all liars are their part in the lake of fire. So if you and I die in our sins and God gives us justice, any of us, no matter what religion we are, we'll end up in hell. Now, do you know what God did for humanity so we don't have to go to hell? Yeah. Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, Christian, whatever. God did something wonderful for the whole of humanity. Do you know what he did? Yeah, well, uh, he brought his son to life and like we human uh, kill him, uh, but he forgave us. I mean, he gave his life for us. 
Well, let me explain and get your thoughts on it. The Creator, God, became a human being 2,000 years ago, Jesus of Nazareth. He was not only a prophet, the Bible says he was God manifest in the flesh, and the reason God became a person was to suffer and die on the cross for our sins. God's a judge, you and I are criminals, we've violated his law, the Ten Commandments, but Jesus paid our fine in full. He took the punishment for us. That means God can legally dismiss our case. He can forgive you every sin you've ever committed and give you everlasting life as a free gift. You can't earn it by doing anything. How can we earn everlasting life? We're guilty criminals. God's a judge. Anything we offer him is a, an attempt to bribe him and he'll not be bribed, but he's rich in mercy and he gives everlasting life to all who repent and trust in Jesus. That's the teaching of the Bible and that's whosoever will may come, the Bible says, whether you're a Hindu or Buddhist, Muslim, whoever, if you acknowledge your sins and call upon Jesus Christ, God will forgive your sins and give you everlasting life because Jesus paid your fine. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Yep. So will you ladies give this some thought because there's nothing more important than where you spend eternity. You don't want to wait till Judgment Day to know if you're going to heaven or hell. You can know this side of Judgment Day by repenting and trusting in Jesus. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Good job. And whose lunch was I leaning on? Uh, mine, but that's okay.